video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to purchase and install the WordPress page builder Thrive Architect onto your new WordPress site. There are a few different WordPress page builders out there, and what I wanna first explain to you is why you need a page builder in the first place. So if we actually visit this new website, you're gonna see something that looks like this. And it's very hard to actually edit what we see on the page using the default settings inside of WordPress. We don't have many options about how to customize the look of our page. But when you use a page building plugin such as Thrive Architect, you can drag and drop and have complete control over every single thing that lives inside one of your pages. It makes designing websites so much fun. And you don't need to know any code in order to use these drag and drop page builders. And I've seen and used many of them in the past. And there's one that in my opinion is by far the best. And that is Thrive Architect. And not only is their plugin the best page builder on the market if you have a WordPress site, but just the company itself is my favorite company out there. I have a ton of respect for their business owner, Shane Mala, and just his style of entrepreneurship, his way of thinking is all focused on delivering value to you. And it really shows in this plugin Thrive Architect. And they keep adding significant updates to the plugin every single month. So not only is this plugin amazing, but it continues to get better every single month. So what we're gonna do is we need to purchase this plugin and to do that, open up a new tab and type in eric.camp backslash thrive. And this is a link on my website that's gonna redirect you to the landing page for Thrive Architect. Now, if you're curious what a page builder actually does, you can read all the text on this landing page and watch this video right here. And if you're ready to go ahead and use it to build your website, then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you see the sales format or the sales portion of this landing page. And right here, you have three different options. So the first is you can become a member to Thrive and you pay $19 a month upfront annually to get access to all of their plugins, including Thrive Architect and their website themes. And so when you pay annually, that ends up being $228 for the year. Now, on the other hand, you can buy a single license or five licenses just to use the Thrive Architect plugin. Now, I highly encourage you become a member to Thrive for many different reasons. The first of which is not only do I love this company, but I love the plugins that they've created. So in addition to Thrive Architects, they have a lot of other plugins that are gonna be super valuable for you as your business grows and you create your website in deeper, more profound ways. You start collecting email addresses, you start configuring how those email pop-ups appear. All of that can be done using their other plugins. And in addition to that, you also lock in the price of $19 a month, which is pretty important because they're working on something that's gonna change the game. They're working on a Thrive themed builder where you can use a page builder similar to Thrive Architect to edit every single part of a WordPress website, which includes the menus, the footers, and blog posts. And I know that may not mean anything to you now, but it is something that anyone that's been designing WordPress websites has been eagerly awaiting for a long time. And they've been developing this for months. They have beta testers. And it's just something that's gonna change the game and make creating beautiful websites even easier than it already is now. And they plan on raising their membership price once they launch that amazing thing. So it's just cool to lock in your rate of $19 a month now because the way their company works is if you lock in your rate now, even if they raise prices in the future, you will be consistent at that $19 a month rate. But if you're the type of person that likes to own something outright or you know you're just gonna use Thrive Architect and not any of their other plugins or themes in the future, then you can buy a license. So in this case, I'm doing Thrive Membership and I'm click on the Buy Now button. And this will take us to the checkout page where you can enter your email and password, which you're gonna to wanna to save in a safe place because that's how you're gonna log into your Thrive Themes account. Fill out the rest of your billing info and then check out with PayPal. And you can either pay with a PayPal account or using one of your credit or debit cards. And after you've created your Thrive Themes account or purchased Thrive Architect, 
you're going to want to log in to their website in order to download the plugin that you're going to install on your website. So you want to enter the username and email that you just created and click on login. And once you're logged in, you're going to want to click on this download and install the Thrive Product Manager plugin. So it doesn't matter how many plugins or themes you've bought from their site, you're just going to want to download this single plugin and upload it to your website. And once this plugin is uploaded, you can then install any of the Thrive products that you own. So let me show you what this looks like. Now that we've downloaded this plugin, it's living in my downloads folder as a zip file. And I'm going to go back to my website, hover over plugins, and click on Add New. And up here, I'm going to click on Upload Plugin. And then Choose File, go to my Downloads folder, and then double click that zip file that I just downloaded, and click Install Now. It'll install in seconds, and then you're going to want to click on Activate Plugin. And once the plugin is activated, you will see this new option appear on your left hand dashboard. And you're going to want to click on Product Manager. Now, what you're going to want to do here is make sure that it logs you into your Thrive account. Now, because I logged in on this website page, it's logged me in automatically over here. But it might ask you to enter your username and password again. But once you see this option, you can click on any of the products that you own on the checkbox underneath that says install product. Now because I'm a Thrive member, I have access to all of their plugins and all of their themes, which you will also see if you're a Thrive member. But if you just purchase Thrive Architect, then you're only going to see this box appear. So check the things that you want to install. In this case, I'm just installing Thrive Architect and click on install selected products. And once that product has been installed, click on the Go to the Thrive Themes dashboard. And now if you see this box under your installed products, it means Thrive Themes has been installed successfully, which is awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change our home page to one of the templates from Thrive Architect just to give you a general idea about how this plugin actually works. So what we're going to do is go to our website just to remember what it looks like now. So when I type in my website domain projectselfexpression.com, we see this page. But what we can do now is hover over pages and click on add new. And we're going to want to title this page. So I'm just going to title this home page, click on publish in the top right hand corner and then publish again. And now that the page is published and titled, we're going to click on the launch Thrive Architect green button. And as you can see, this is the same page that anyone sees when they go to my home page right now. But we don't want that. We want to change this. So go to the top right hand corner and click on this cloud icon that says change template when you hover over it. And with Thrive Architect, they have a ton of templates that they've built and they keep adding new ones. And in this case, I'm just going to select not PS smart. And these are template sets, which means if you click on one, you get a bunch of different pages that all are a part of that same template. So you have a home page template, a lead generation template, a sales page template, etc. And what we're going to do in this case is select the home page te template and choose template. And what you can see now is the page looks completely different than it did just a minute ago. And that's because now our page is this template. And if we scroll down, we see everything that this template includes and it looks super nice. And if you want to change anything, we can just double click and start typing away or moving things around with the different options here. And there are a lot of different options and I know it's overwhelming at first, but don't worry because this gets much easier as you get used to it over time. And Thrive Themes also has a ton of free Thrive Architect tutorials if you want to go through that route instead. Now in this case, the first thing we're going to do is change the color palette of this page. And to do that, we can click on this brush icon on the top right hand side, 
click on this drop down menu and choose a color palette that we like. And we can keep exploring until we find our favorite ones. And these are color palettes designed by professional designers. So you want to find a palette that you like and then everything on your page will change to match that color palette, which makes it so easy to design a beautiful website. Now if you have brand colors that you want to use instead, you can also click on this and enter those manually. But just to keep things simple, we're going to use one of these standard colored sets. And now I'm going to click on save work in the bottom left hand corner and I'm going to save and exit. And now this page looks like this with the color that we chose and any other edits that we made. And you can see that this page is called homepage. So when we type in our domain, add a backslash and put in homepage, this is what people will be taken to. But what we want to do is actually make this our homepage. So when someone visits just our domain name, they'll see this page instead of seeing this page. And in order to do that, we're going to go to the back end of our website, hover over settings, and click on reading. Then for your homepage displays, check the static page radio button, and under homepage, click on this drop down menu and select the homepage that we created. And then click on save changes. And now, if anyone in the world visits your website domain name, they're going to be taking to that page instead. So I know this page is not anything related to my business or your business, but I hope you're getting excited about the potential here. Because look at how quickly we went from having a standard WordPress website to installing Thrive Architect, downloading a template, changing the color palette of that page, and then creating a new homepage. And every single thing here can be edited and designed exactly how you want it. And yes, there's a little bit of a learning curve to learn how to use Thrive Architect, but the more you play and experiment with it, the more you'll see that it's intuitive and you can get the hang of it really quickly. So I just think this is so exciting. Compared to how I created websites years ago, it's just mind-blowing how easy it is now.